What's up, Otaka Squad? It's your boy, Romanic Game, Mr. Anime 343, and sadly, I hate to say this, but turns out the appeals case has been officially uh, lost, and hey, we're not giving up hope just yet, okay? We still need to support Vic. I know a lot of people out there are, are all celebrating, saying, yay, we won again, now it's actually Owen... Let's see. Oh, and 34. Yeah, oh, and 34. But <laughs> thanks to what happened between, you know, the whole kick Vic, I stand with Vic debacle that's been going on as of late, <sighs> people always actually want to say that. Vic Mignogna is a creep. Vic Mignogna actually did all of this. No. This was a civil case. This case was actually supposed to freaking... This case was supposed to actually show that these people were responsible for what happened to the to Vic Mignogna getting the pink slip. Okay, what, what these companies are doing, willing to actually, you know... Bash the fans. Tell them that they're toxic for actually supporting someone like Vic. But let's face facts here. These people do not even care one bit about you, me, or anyone else. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is having a person's voice being heard. You see... That is why I'm actually incorporating a new hashtag called hashtag believe in Vic Mignogna because we need to show support, appreciation, and all that good stuff because Anime Matsuri actually helped Vic get a new dubbing studio. And I gotta say, I really want to actually see Vic Mignogna flourish and actually, you know, be who he is. I can't stand these people just constantly saying that, oh, I stay with Vic is nothing more than a hug box. No, 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 no. Okay, Vic is the hug box, not I stand with Vic. I, I mean, I know that they're, they're just as toxic because people are shouting at each other. Nothing's getting done. Nobody actually has any reports to actually show any police reports, any factual evidence. Heck, when Damon Mills actually freaking got exposed as a creep, you know what happened to him? He actually freaking slapped a cease and desist against the victim. Vic did nothing of the sort. He just simply sued for defamation. In fact, we actually have tweets from Monica Rial, from Jamie Markey, from all these people that were going against him because they actually have a personal vendetta against the guy. But you see, I'm a believer of karma. You get good, you get good, you get bad, you get bad. And oh boy, the bad karma that's going to be coming for these people, I bet you it is going to be super, super sweet when it does end they actually have to freaking get hit with the consequences of their own actions. You see, people don't understand. Actions do have consequences. Heck, I've actually made some poor decisions in my life, and I had to live with the consequences of said actions. Because I'm actually a flawed human being. But the people that actually attack innocent people... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Basically, I actually really like the one where a friend, uh, Colonel Osaka Gatekeeper, actually had, like, you know, this one particular tweet where this, like, SJW goes, goes to hell. And then the devil tells him that they actually have to watch freaking 
Donald Trump videos and commercials <laughs> for all eternity just for what they did to an 80-year-old an 80-year-old elderly person who said that there were two genders. Oh, man. I know I'm actually going to cause a lot of outrage, but I don't care. At least I'm willing to be myself. And personally speaking, oh, I just actually can't stand the constant toxicity that people are actually saying. This isn't over yet. We're still going to be fighting for what we believe in. And Vic is still owed due justice. So we need justice for Vic. We need to hashtag believe in Vic Mignogna and show that we still support him. I'll still support him through any means necessary. Heck, if he's actually if he's actually going to hire someone to actually be a voice actor and needs fresh blood, I'm willing to do it because I actually do have a thing for uh, doing voices <laughs> outside of like uh, me trying to actually per se do voices for characters of certain things. But I want you guys to know one thing. We need to actually show appreciation for those who are willing to listen to our voices. Because we should matter more than the SJWs do. They're actually nothing more than a small vocal minority. Whereas we are a bigger community that should show appreciation for what we do. We need to actually show people like Vic that we will not falter just because, you know, some bad apples have decided to actually pick fights with us. We need to stand strong. If you guys really enjoyed this kind of content, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And as always, just remember these four things. Respect the life is a fan service. Enjoy your fandoms. Embrace your degeneracy. As long as it's legal, it doesn't harm you or anyone else. And anime is freedom. And until the next time we meet again, this is Mr. Anime343 saying, God, anime, mecha, and big titty waifu fucking speed.